Without a doubt, the worst thing about the PS5 is the amount of storage that you get. A one terabyte drive, which actually means 667 gigabytes, is too small. This is how you upgrade. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Step one is to remove the HDMI cable and remove the power cable. The next thing you need to do is make sure your PS5 is in the correct position. And this is with the disk drive up and on your right hand side. And with the edge of the console, there's no screws to unscrew, just lift up the left hand edge first and then slide it slightly to the right and it will just lift off very easily. You don't need to put too much pressure on at all. The next thing you need to do is to remove the case housing the SSD drive or where the SSD drive is going to go. That's simply one Phillips screw. Take off that plate and you'll see the drive entry. I'm using the crucial 2 terabyte M2 drive and you need to remove the holding screw because we'll need that in a second. Slot the drive straight in and then with the holding screw just screw that back into place. And that's it pretty much done. You'll then need to put the plate back on so that it's protected. And my friends, just repeat the process with the lid. Put it on and slide it up to the left this time. And that's your update done. When you turn on, it will recognize the fact that there's an M2 SSD inside it. And you will need to format it first. So just hit format and it will take literally 30 seconds to a minute to format that drive. And now when you go in to your storage on your settings screen, you'll see M2 SSD storage is there. And you'll see the original storage is still in place, which you can still use. That's 667 gigabytes available in most cases. And then the M2 SSD storage, I've got now two terabytes, which I can then download all the games that I've deleted in the past because it was taking up too much space. Now, if you want to, the chances are that the drive that you've just installed is actually faster than the original drive which came with the console. So you can choose that as the new location for all of your new games and any others that you download to be installed to. And then when that's full up, it will then use the console storage or vice versa the other way around. That's it, my friends. That's the easiest PS5 update that you'll ever do.